I've been here about nine months, and uh, it's it's gorgeous here. Um, we are very happy that we moved here. Uh, we were in Kentucky for a while. We knew that place pretty well. And when you go from a state that you know really, really super well to one that you don't know anything about, uh, you just want to get out and be adventurous. It's important for us to kind of understand the culture, understand the history. There's a lot that we have to learn, um, but we're excited about exploring and just, you know, getting to know more about our, our new home. Walk into this building is awe inspiring. It always has been. Uh, never get tired of looking at the rotunda. I'm Frankie Bell, and I have worked on and off in the Capitol for 50 years. What makes me feel proud is the reaction of the public, the fact that the government is so open and that they can see so many things about Oregon in the Capitol. The Capitol is relatively new uh, as capitals go. This is our third capital, and uh, unfortunately, we have lost two previous capitals. The Capitol that burned in 1935 was a traditional looking building. The fire was um, a devastating blow to Oregon, of course. It was an explosive fire. They could see it as far as Portland. Copper Dome came crashing down into the rotunda. The building went up uh, very quickly, but anybody who was around the area remembers that fire. You could still find pieces of the Capitol pillars in the Capitol Park. They were reclaimed and are there now so that you can see what those pillars look like. The 1935 Capitol stood on the same spot and faced west instead of north. The people who were planning this building realized that state government was going to grow and it was gonna to grow to the north because they would run into the city if they went to the west. You know, it built in 1938 during the Depression. It was a real bargain. We paid two and a half million for it. The Pioneer wasn't gold when he came, he was just bronze, and of course it was a very, very uh, involved process to pull him to the top of the building. He then was gold leafed after he was put in place. And visitors always want to know who that man is. They're fascinated with him. I suppose there's a statue on some other capital, but certainly not like him, and very much representative of the pioneers that settled Oregon. When you get up to the base of the Pioneer, you'll be out of breath, but you will have a wonderful view. You'll see Willamette University, which is the oldest university west of the Missouri, and you can see the historic district and all of downtown. The idea of volunteers also goes hand in hand with enthusiasm. They are volunteering. They are doing this on their own time that's impressive. They make the visitors feel like they're really welcome and they help the visitors see the capital the way it needs to be seen. One of the most common questions I get is, how can we get involved? When we're in session, the third level is the gallery level. If you look back, you see the theater seating. We also have seating behind each of the rails. That's where the public can go and observe what's going on when we're in session.
Uh, there are events all the time. Visitor Services is doing some really wonderful events to bring different cultures into the building. It is truly the people's building and we really want people to come to visit. everything is and I feel like it seems representative of Oregon as a state and um, just the fact that you can just walk in you can easily access the house the senate and um, I think that's that's awesome and I think in a day and age where I think we often feel disconnected um, from our representatives, from the whole political process. Just that feeling that actually you can be included um, was really, really exciting. Um, one word, one takeaway, it's just this accessibility, um, which as new Oregonians is, is really exciting because I feel like we can be a part of what Oregon is, what it's becoming, there's a place for us. I would like for everybody to have a chance to experience uh, the capital and take away all there is to know and to learn from being here.